previously <laughs> uh, on Rise of the Rune Lords, Burnt Offerings, Part oh, 1, of the dog blades. Festival <laughs> and Fire. Uh, so, in our very first session, uh, the heroes, or the would-be heroes of Sandpoint, were introduced, um, arriving in town in order uh, to participate in the Swallowtail Festival as they continued their uh, investigations and attacks into the local goblin populace. Uh, our, at this time, our heroes are... Uh, Azius Gore. Burlington Vepin and Lucky the Badger. <laughs> Lucky the Badger. Yes. Okay, and uh, Azius, yes. uh, for people who might be tuning in for the first time, you are a... I'm a dwarf alchemist. Dwarf alchemist. Okay, and Gore? Half-elf fighter. <laughs> it's only session two, folks. And, and uh, Burl? And Burl is a gnome sorcerer. Gotcha, gnome sorcerer. Okay. Um, now, last time we were here, uh, you guys came into town. It's the battle, man. It's... I just want to make sure. I didn't know if there's anything else we had to do. Uh... Nah, not yet. Oh. No. And we're, we're, are we con we're continuing right where we left off? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. We just beat those goblins. The town is burning. So like I my two spells I like I have the same spells and everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, nothing nothing messages. has changed in terms of that. I imagine that we had enough uh, time to to I didn't get hit, so I didn't. Have to get hit. I, I was I was all star last time. I don't know. I didn't. I don't know about you guys, but it's pretty good. I, I I'm you at, took a lot. Well, I am at twelve um, hit points, but my uh, stamina is back to seven. Because your what what's your max hit points? But I have no more resolve. I haven't used use. any resolve. I yeah. like the idea. Dave I used was all my about, resolve uh, last week about maybe including like, especially with, maybe with someone with high charisma who can you know pass that resolve onto someone else. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. You know, an inspiring. Hey, don't give up. Yeah. Right. Um, and so I'm uh, the only one wounded, as far as I know. Right. I and also, um, like the other thing I was thinking about is, uh, because of the way that the standard. Uh, Stamina rules kind of work in Pathfinder. Um, they tie it to your highest ability score. I think it's because they assume that everyone's going to have an 18 because that's what makes the most sense. Um, and since Bob designed his character very unoptimized, uh, your more high, fun. More fun. your primary stat is not only not as not four. It's not even. Your highest stat? Nope. What is it? for an alchemist? It's, it's intelligence. It's and, uh, intelligence, and so it's a two. Yeah. And so, uh, my constitution's a three. Okay. Uh, one of the, one of the hallmarks of this channel is going to be that we'll oftentimes get distracted by uh, conversations about the game system because oh. uh, or all, conversations in general. Well, just a conversation <laughs> in general uh, because all of us here are very, very, very. Um, we're nerdy, but we're also very interested in in game design and mechanical design. One of the common complaints about the alchemist class is that it's what they call MAD, which stands for multiple attribute dependency. Oh, so for example, m you know, Matt's a sorcerer. Uh, he uses his charisma to it helps his spell casting. It's what he uses to set his spell DCs. It's what he uses to when he flings a spell at somebody, he rolls with plus charisma. It's the only stat that matters, really. Exactly. Whereas the alchemist's primary ability score is intelligence, but there are basically two flavors of alchemist. One is sort of the potion hurler, which relies on dex, and then one sort of the mutagenist who relies on strength. Yep. And so is that the one where he gives it himself just versus an attack? Yeah, okay. just drinking Juggernaut. potions and becoming yeah. kind of Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde. Uh, and so the problem is if, it, it, actually, truthfully, truth be told, intelligence doesn't really do a whole lot for the yep. alchemist. Um, even though it's their primary attribute. And so uh, other game systems, like 4th edition, uh, got around this by allowing certain classes to, like, attack with their int, right? Mm. Um, and <laughs> because they're like, well, look, you need to be able to hit things. Yeah. Uh, and since we're making you have a high intelligence, it seems kind of kind of productive that you don't can't hit things. So anyways, so you're already handicapped. So I'm just going to give you the best I can. I'm going to give you four uh, resolve. Just doing the best I can, guys. My four resolve. <laughs> hey, I mean, you're, you're not giving up. You I know? am not giving now, up. Now, granted, you've still spent 
Oh, so you, I had four. No, no, your max is now four. Oh, okay. So I'm at zero of four. What was your max? Before? No, that's impossible. I, I had two before. So you've spent two. So I'm at two of four. You got it. Uh, so I'm not going to double gimp you. Yeah, I think, I think that's <laughs> I've fair. spent two so far to get back to full stamina. I'm still hurt a little bit on my health. Um, and so one of the things that uh, maybe we'll, maybe I'll probably, maybe I'll, I'll add these to the, uh, to the stream at home for the people at home. Oh. Um, so -na -na. this is just a, a little thing here. So these are some of the NPCs that you guys have uh, met so oh, far. Actual in town. character cards. Yeah. So we got the mayor um, of town. We've got. Um, hey, yeah. It's just. Oh, this is the mayor? Yeah. Um, TN. That's Amiko, correct? And. Uh, we didn't actually see her father, though, did we? Correct. Oh, but father Santos. Santos. You, you, I talked to her. Are these actually like tied to the story, like uh, yeah. official parts of the Pathfinder? Oh, this is. Oh, the wow. Shalalu. No, no, I haven't. I didn't include her because you guys haven't uh, included. But I forgot that. So you haven't met her yet, but you guys are kind of aware of her. So. He's aware. Gore, Gore's aware. <laughs> Gore's aware. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, Maya. Yeah, they can't. I remember they, like I had some pictures of my essentials kit when I bought for D&D. It had like the same sort of little picture type things you could pass around. Like, like a, we met like one character so far in that whole thing. <laughs> There we go. Add that. Add that in there. Shalala. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Shalala. That's everything you want. And more. Oh, and technically, you guys know this guy too. This is the goblin. This is the um, the bugbear that has been that was hunting. Oh, that we heard about. That was hunting you guys for oh, killing all the goblins. Yeah, Bruth Bruth Aximus. This guy's like ready to play football Ooh. in 1920. That's Remember, a good name. Bruth Aximus. Uh, Bruth Aximus is a really good on. name. Bruth Aximus. Yeah, Bruth Ax. Bruth Ax. Ruth Asmus. Ruth Asmus. That's hard. To, right off. The we'll just call him Bruth. Yeah. Big Big B. Big okay. B. Big B. Okay. All right. So. It's your. What are we asking? Stamina is. No, stamina now is just four. Okay. You have a maximum of four resolve points. No. Wait. Sorry. No, no. Sorry. It's it's your it's fighter. Your fighter. The five is because of the fighter. Okay. Constitution. It should be five plus your constitution, Rory. Okay. So what's your constitution? Plus two? Yeah. So you should have seven stamina. Okay. I thought you guys were talking about whatever your best ability score was. No, no. no. That's how many resolve points oh, you have yeah. that you can use to recover your stamina. I'm saying uh, okay. Bob is already fucked. I yeah. didn't want to double fuck him. <laughs> Based so. on prime stat. Okay. Exactly. Yep, I wrote that down. Okay, great. So. Um, Don't drink was... monsters. What? Don't drink monsters. Put me in the hospital and put a buddy of mine in the hospital. Cut it as soon as you can. <laughs> but you went to the hospital off of a monster? Off of multiple monsters, but yes. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, and then and then recently one of my buddies uh, had to go to the hospital what, with heart palpitations. Because of caffeine. Well, you guys just don't know how to fucking handle your caffeine. <laughs> well, basically okay, I was listen, drinking there was, was there was a point in time. There was a point in time where I was drinking two eight-shot white lightnings from Starbucks a day. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be walking right <laughs> well, yeah, I had to because I was only getting three hours of sleep because I was spending, uh, I was up till 3 a.m. in the strip club every night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on work nights, on work nights. Yeah. You were the DJ. <laughs> I might as well have been. I basically was drinking all day and then to get energy, drink monsters at night to keep going. Oh, wow. And then basically just heart well, palpitate like, yourself uh, in the hospital. Like a four loco, right? Like well, that would have been a, a mixture of both. Yeah, things, yeah. two worlds combined. Yeah. All right, so... Um, The initial assault of the goblins uh, in town square uh, leads to people running and hiding um, and fleeing the town square as you guys defeat several waves of goblins, including powerful pyromancers or goblin pyros led by the ever annoying and ever bothersome uh, goblin war chanters mm. who screech and scream their goblin song, uh, filling your hearts with irritation and, and dread. I liked it. Yeah, it was not bad. Okay. okay. Just um, kill them. <laughs> okay, yeah, kill them. <laughs> Anyways, um, so when you guys finally recover from the several uh, m moments of intense fighting, there are several huddled townsfolk peering out from nearby doorways or overturned carts. You see that Father Xantus, who was about to give his speech before the goblins attacked, is moving about, aiding some of the people who you know tripped or fell and got hurt. Uh, in the rubble and the uh, uh, commotion of the fight. However, with some degree of horror, you notice that uh, the smell of smoke in the air 
You can hear the distant crackle of flames and the soft orange glow on the reflected on the clouds above indicate that there is at least some buildings in Sandpoint that are on fire. What do you guys do now? Uh, my first inclination was to check on the rusty dragon. Uh, just make sure it's not burning because it's a good... So, yeah, uh, I one think, of it's only uh, one of only points in town. I, I think it's good. Uh, uh, Burl feels a little uh, goofy because he's an elementalist. So, and, and the elemental that he uses is fire. So he's a fire guy. Um, <laughs> so he's like, I don't have any. I have hydraulic push. So I guess I could put out some put out some fires with a hydraulic push. Mm. Pressurized water. I could probably target. roll on some with my with yeah. my girth. Yeah. <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> put out the fires. But I'm more concerned about the chili and the, and the mead the foods and the i just juice. want to make sure the rusty dragon's okay yeah i have ray of frost no. i guess that might I'll, i don't want a, a fellow bar owner to go down in flames as i have you know it too well theoretically so yeah if you guys want to if you guys agree with me i would say we go in that direction and if something occurs during the way a fire that maybe we can put out or some more goblins that show i will up. take them out as well or what do you think Rusty Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever Shalala is. <laughs> Heart's unknown. Uh, she might be on it. We don't know where she is. No, right? we don't know. We just know her Well, it her makes the most picture. sense because that whole line of people was lined up out the door. That's where you're going to have the most casualties happen. Especially if like a, if a goblin crew uh, were headed in that direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully Did, people fled. But, yeah, it depends right. on how many, how many came to hear Father Xantus uh, do his speech. Well, how far away is uh, where Father Xantus is doing his priest from where the rusty dragon is. Uh, I don't remember the exact map, um, but uh, I assume a few blocks. But I can administer aid as well since I'm a field medic. There you yeah. go. I mean, I have elixirs of, uh, what's it called? Elixirs of life. I can't really do You can much pass out juggernaut potions to everybody. I, I keep those kind of to myself. Just let them go crazy. For my friends. I can't, really, <laughs> I can't really do much for like a person in terms of healing them, uh, per se. But you're taking care of the fires, aren't yeah. I? I think, I, I mean, imagine Ray of Frost. Yeah. I don't know. You blast an icy ray. You said you're a fire elemental? Uh, that's like, that's the flavor of it is, is fire. So, is so that... if someone's limbs off, you could like, collect, what do you call it? Call, uh, call, call, call. What? Cauterize. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Ray of Frost. With, with their fire burns yeah, yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being um, an elemental, do you have pyrokinesis? Do you control it mentally? So all of my spells are just from, you know, like a wizard, you know, reads the ritual and the spell happens. A sorcerer is just like, sure. Um, and so for each, every time I get a new level of spell, like I have first level spells, one of them is automatically chosen for you based on your fire. Okay. So burning hands which is the one that does the 15 foot cone of fire. Uh, yeah. I had no choice, I had to take that because I'm a fire. If I were mm. like the water, it might have been you know, some other water attack. And then you get to choose too, so I could then take like an ice or a water. Sure. You always get those fire ones primary. What's that What's that thing they do where they put a fire out with a, an explosion maybe? There's, there, it like in, in the real world, yeah. there's like a, there's that thing that they, yeah, they throw, they had like the box and it just, I don't know that's if it's like fire. That's well, if it's the fire's happening and it throws it and it just like explodes and puts out the fire because yeah. it sucks up all the oxygen. It, yeah, it's I depleting think. the oxygen. Yeah. I think and puts yeah. up. Right. One of the one of the major mistakes, though, remembering that magic doesn't always necessarily apply to <laughs> real world uh, real world physics. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know if Ray of Frost is going to help here, but I think that uh, hydraulic push would because one, it's just, it's a it's a torrent of water, pressurized water, but it also knocks things back, so it could like you know knock out some fires. I think. Crit on a critical success, they take 66. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's, that's insane. insane. Keep your minis off the map. Yep. Absolutely. Do you need uh, no. the troll champion? We don't need the big guy. thought if we were going to fight him today, that'd be rough. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I wasn't ready for it. Okay, so you guys go ahead and you quickly make your way back across town uh, to the uh, area of the Rusty Dragon. So as you guys approach, uh, yeah, so go ahead and you guys are coming in from the main uh, town. I'm definitely not leading the charge. Um, yeah, Gore can go ahead and lead yeah, the charge. Gore. Gore. Um, so you guys make your way over, so and um, so just uh, and just to be clear, uh, no update. A no update from your brother? No, no, no not at this moment. I mean, I, I texted him the question update. No, no update. Okay. If you're watching this live stream, get on. 
yeah. battle mat. <laughs> <laughs> My guess is he's... Again, again, we still have a couple hours, so he could jump in at the end if we if we have time. All right. So as you make your way through the town, you, you hear uh, scattered throughout the town the sound of battle, clanging swords, calls of support from the town guard, and of course the ever-present shrieking and singing of the goblins echoing through the streets. But uh, for the most part, the citizenry have fled. You see as you kind of make your way through the town, not nearby enough to pose a threat or to even bother for you guys to go out of your way, but like you'll see down an alley that it looks like you know, some goblins, well, there's a good number of goblins laying dead in the street. But even as you like are making your way over to the rusty dragon, you look down one alley and you see that there's just two goblins that are just like rummaging through a dumpster. <laughs> uh, you know, there's no dogs in there. <laughs> you know, uh, another goblin seems to be like have his head stuck in a, like a wagon wheel and he's just like, you know, like trying to get his big <laughs> head out um, from the, the wagon wheel. Uh, you know, Pathfinder goblins are notable because. You know, their heads are much, uh, much bigger than their bodies. They're like yeah. Yoda heads. Yeah, or like gremlin. They would yeah. kind of look like gremlins. A little, yeah, gremlin Yodas. Yeah. So, huh. so yeah. So, again, yeah. the basic kind of goblin warrior that you guys have been fighting. Yeah. Um, now, eventually, however, uh, you make your way uh, over to the area of the Rusty Dragon, a series of, of buildings just east um, of the, the north gate of the town. This is the Rusty Dragon complex. Yeah, I mean, there's probably a couple other buildings in there as well, but you know, we'll say that like these two buildings up front are sort of the main inn and main tavern. Uh, anyways, um, so you make your way over, and that is when you hear the shrieking of goblins, mm. and then you hear the scream of a goblin uh, crying out as if uh, it's in great pain, and then you hear a sharp, painful yelp from a dog. Oh, oh man couldn't even save the dog. I know, it's, it's a damn shame. All right, as you guys come into the compound area, so kind of make your way down this alleyway towards, kind of like towards the, the central part. Yeah, there you go, sweet. All right, <laughs> um, so as you come into the sort of central courtyard of the Rusty Dragon Complex, you see, backed up into that uh, far corner there by the ladder, you got it. You see a well-dressed nobleman hmm. Oh, cowered into the corner know his name alderan <laughs> way to go matt yeah. spoilers oh, supposed to say that I no, why do you think i name. why do you think i put the card down <laughs> I, I thought you were giving us the, the you, uh, see, his, you just see this all you that see that guy's is, face but yeah i also like the idea that the that corner. somehow means something like oh it's it's him huh. yeah, he's it's not him. that handsome okay i'll, I'll try that again <laughs> It is, it is. As you emerge into the central courtyard of the rusty dragon complex you see backed into a corner a well-dressed nobleman I'm putting this card down, an image of a well-dressed nobleman. That is who you are seeing. Yes, that's all we know. Don't pick up the card. <laughs> yeah. But to However, be clear, you gave us the previous stack of cards, which yes. we were free to, to correct. peruse. Correct. So. Uh, Focus. Uh, those, those were, <laughs> that was a reminder from last session. Actually, I don't care that you know his name. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, um, I don't I remember nothing. his name yet. Yeah. I'm not writing it down. The more information you guys have, the easier this makes it for me. Okay. Um, so anyways, okay. he... He is guarded by one hunting dog Ooh. who stands sort of in front of him, barking viciously, and it's like right next to him. However, a second hunting dog lies dead. Mm. A, dog, uh, a dog quartet is. of goblins threatens the noble. Mm. It looks like there have been a ferocious skirmish out here. There are three goblins kind of surrounding the square. The square? It, no, like yeah, this oh, thing. Yeah. I don't, okay. know, well, I don't know. Maybe it's a more of an orthon orthogon. I don't know. Whereas a yeah, is the dog slicer blade uh, privy to only no I Pathfinder, or is that in D and D as well? Uh, that specific that name, the dog slicer blade. The dog slicer is is a, just a Pathfinder. Okay. Thing. Whereas standing right in the middle of the square, threatening the nobleman, the other goblins seem to be kind of afraid of the, the dog. However, the dog itself has just freshly been slain mm. by a- A panther? A goblin commando. Who is riding a oh, okay. goblin dog. I was like, this is a, a goblin, goblin commando. Dog. Yes. I haven't even heard of this thing. Although not looking nothing like a dog, or nothing like a, uh, or the, 
a looking a lot like a dog. It's like a giant rat. It's really. like a giant rat. <laughs> it's even though it looks exactly kind of like a dog. Goblins love those. They hate regular dogs, but they love <laughs> those it's things. It's the lack of fur. It's the lack of fur. Uh, and they yeah, they ask cat. us right. And so remember, <laughs> um, you can ride a creature smaller than you. So goblins are small. Goblin dogs are medium. So now, whereas the goblins themselves are equipped with dog slicers. The goblin commando riding the goblin dog is equipped with the much larger and more impressive horse chopper. Oh, yes, is, horse is, chopper. is this barrel a part of him? Is he carrying around like a petard with like <laughs> ready to explode? Yes, or? he has a petard a <laughs> ready from, to uh, go. Slash rail. Yes. <laughs> um, the man, now correctly uh, telepathically identified as Aldern, <laughs> man, cowers, behind, <laughs> cowers behind a barrel as you enter into the corner. His eyes panickedly see you as you emerge. Help! Help! Help me, please! I'll pay you anything, please! Help! Yeah. Pay me anything. A billion dollars. <laughs> Anyways, you arrive just on time to see the goblin commando removing his horse chopper from the side of the slain dog. Oh, so he's over here. The, re the remaining goblins uh, throw up their hands and their, their dog slicers in celebration <laughs> like, Yeah! That's the way it goes! <laughs> um... The goblins seem to be a bit distracted by their recent kill as you guys emerge into the scene, but then the goblin commando's uh, rat-like goblin dog sniffs the air, twitches, and the goblin sort of shifts in his saddle as he looks back. More long shanks, kill them all! All right, we're gonna roll initiative. Okay. I take that as a compliment, goblin. Hey, Matt, do me a favor. Yes, sir. Give me that black little uh, mini briefcase. Yes, sir. Nine plus. What's our initiative thing again? It's our. Okay, so tip. Okay, yeah, you're right. That was a kind of a quasi mistake on my behalf. Roll perception for initiative. Okay, that's why I, th I was like, I feel like it's different in Pathfinder. It is. It is different. Uh, so twelve for uh, Asius. Twenty-two for Gore. Oh wow. Uh, Thirteen. Earl. Yeah. Am I going I just played this. I was just. Slow, probably a little bit buzzed all and the time. He's got two wisdom. <laughs> Plus yeah. two wisdom. So when I was Same. looking up the um, well, alchemist mutagen, it was like focus on strength. That's one of your key things to focus on. I mean, strength's not awful. No, it's just I was looking up what the alchemist mutagen um, stuff you want to look for because there is stuff about him. what to focus on. There's like, like if you want to be a mutagenist, it would say focus on getting um, predatory strength and constitution. So not intelligence at all. <laughs> but, uh, lucky. But, but that's what I, it's like, oh, maybe I need to look at these kind of things too. As, a, as an animal, Lucky's intelligence is a two. Uh, yes, well, wait, typically, that's... traditionally in these base games, if a creature has an intelligence of three, it is no longer by definition an animal. Oh, well, that makes sense why there's this two and negative four. <laughs> All right, uh, go ahead and throw the one underneath the goblin commando on his mount, and then put the other ones on random goblins. What are these? Uh, they're just so that I can uh, identify. Oh, one, what, two, three, they have numbers. Got it. Uh, what is who is who. So I'm going to roll initiative for my commando, who has perception of five. Fortunately, he only got a 10, so he lost even to Asius. Mm -hmm. Uh, Burl, where'd you go, bro? Is Burl, did Burl oh, fall? Oh, Burl fell. Burl oh, fell. Burl fell. All right, about. let me get my warriors here. We got a seven for number two. We got a 14 for number three. And we got, ooh, a 19. That doesn't what? beat you, right, Gore? Nope. Okay, so there's our initiative. Gore, you're up first. All right, I will. Don't forget about your microphone there. The people at home really want to hear what it is that you're going to do, yeah. Rory. What is yeah. Core going to do? And remember, guys, these are dynamic mics, so. Be close. The, well, it just, you sound better. Be and in this range. Yeah, you got you to gotta be in there. Like, if we were podcasting, I'd want you guys right up on there. Welcome to NBR. I do I, would be the do I know is. goblins don't have opportunity to attack, right? Uh, you know that the goblin warrior... Uh, which you have fought earlier, 
does not. Okay. You have not yet fought a goblin commando. That's this guy, but these guys are just goblin. Yes, the, the three generic guys are goblin warriors, which okay. is what these guys here, the ones with dog slicers. These are guys are level negative one. Yeah. Uh, you guys have fought them before. No, they did not have opportunity. He might. he might, but you don't know. Now, you could spend an action to recall knowledge uh, and then would make, a, I think it would probably be a nature check um, or goblin lore if you happen to have that lore. Uh, and then you might be able to know something about them. Uh, is recall knowledge not on the uh, not on the basic ones? It may not be a basic one, but it's it's like Derek said, it's like using one of your skills. You can always like use a skill to do something. Uh, yeah, can I recall knowledge on the commando? Oh, uh, yes, you can. That's for that. You said nature, right? I believe so, but we'll take a look just to make quadruple double sure. Is that eight? Yep. About uh, ETA of 10 minutes. Uh, so it recalls uh, nature is used to recall, no recall knowledge about fauna, flora, geography, weather, the environment, and creatures of natural origin, which would be animals, beasts, fae, and plants. So no, it is not the correct one. It's actually society. Really? Oh, because oh goblins just a, a... I have such good society. <laughs> yes. What is it? Uh, ancestry. Me being a drunk and all. I know. Society is about basically society. about like knowing about like humanoid type creatures mm. anyways i mean you could body. still uh uh you can still try though rory it's just <laughs> whatever your knowledge is no no that's cool i'm gonna cast uh shield yes i can't trip shield for my first action and then i'm gonna use sudden charge All right point of order yes it's a minor one sure uh sudden charge has the trait of open you have to use that as your opening it move. means it has to be your first thing that you do. Uh, okay so you can go ahead and wind that back if you want but yeah we'll do sun charge to goblin four it, yeah all the way over there yeah okay as long as you've got the movement go. 25 feet well no you're sudden charging so you can do it twice yeah so you can get there yep and then all right so gore rushes in and as part of your sudden charge gore you get to make an attack Maybe. And the, the war chief makes no attack? Does not. I got a 20 total. But to be fair, in order to use an attack, you have to you have a reaction available. On your At the beginning of combat, when everyone rolls initiative, you have zero actions and zero reactions. At the start of your turn, you refresh to three actions and one reaction. And the reaction so even if, he, even if he had an attack of opportunity, he hasn't gone yet, so he hasn't like refreshed his cue. Mm -hmm. And that, that reaction would, 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 that the ability to have the reaction it's until the end of the, or until their next turn, right? Because then obviously he can use it when it's not his turn. Correct. Yes, yes. All right. Uh, so you're attacking the Goblin Warrior. 20 total. That is a hit. Not a critical hit, but a hit. Okay. Oh. Good job, and D12. Maybe you'll roll higher than a two this time. Oh my <laughs> God, it's a two. Um, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, great sword. is a d12 plus four six luckily goblin warriors are level negative one and that is enough to kill it oh wow. <laughs> okay and then See I'll, now i'll cast my shield camp okay and then gore uh invokes his half elven or his elven blood and brings about a magical shield all right goblin warrior number three is gonna go and uh Gore rushes in and kills a goblin, so he's not messing with Gore. So he's going to turn around, <laughs> and he's going to go down the alley, and he is going to stab the first thing that he sees uh, that is a humanoid. And that, oh, that's me. That's he, you, Asius. So. And he gets me? Uh, he's got a movement of 25 10, feet. 15, 20. Yes, he can. So he's going he's gonna to stride over to you, yep. and then he's going to attack you. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, he's pumped up. He's going to use his dog slicer. It's fine. Uh, he's going to stab you with his dog slicer. For sure. 20. Wow. <laughs> I can get all the time. <laughs> Four damage. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, the small goblin stabs furiously, <laughs> sl slashing this way and that, and attacks again with a plus four. 23. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Six damage. Oh, my gosh. I'm at nine health. <laughs> all right, Burl. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. So a goblin rushes into the alley and begins shanking the shit out of Atheus. 
And I'm just like, ah! All you can think of is how far your friend has fallen. You remember Azius being a, a mighty a mighty warrior and keen dwarf, and now after spending months destitute and dying in the forest, it seems like he has no fortitude or will left. It seems like a level one dwarf. <laughs> uh, um, all right, so uh, Burl is going to activate Lucky the Badger. Okay. Who now has two actions, one move over, and then second is attack. All right, the creature is flat-footed. Uh, because he is flanked, so he has a minus two circumstance penalty to his armor class. So his armor class drops from 16 to 14. All right, plus four, 18. That is going to be a hit. The magic number you're looking for is six damage. Five. Ooh. Yeah. I might be able to finish but this But you thing get one out. more. I, well, I, uh, I have two actions. Though. Go ahead and put a red on him because he is near death. Um, He's very tall. <laughs> he grows <laughs> twice as large. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just I'll just hit him with the ray of frost. Yep. Um, so he is not flat footed. However, Matt, uh, Azius is a little bit in your way, and so the creature is going to gain light lesser cover, just a plus one bonus to his armor class. So roll well. Uh, okay. Eighteen. Not bad. Good enough. Yeah. All right. That's that is D four. All right, we know it's going to finish yeah. him off. So. Um, the badger rips at the goblin's leg, and just as the goblin turns to be like, get, get out of me, get up! A beam of blue ice strikes the creature in the chest, and he drops to the ground, frozen and hypothermia. All right. Two, uh, which goblin was that? Uh, that was goblin. That's three. 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 Okay, great. Yeah. All right, so, uh, Burl went. Azius. First thing I'm going to do is uh, the potion of elixir. The elixir of life. <laughs> the old potion of elixir. <laughs> potion of elixir. One uh, D6 plus one. Oh, yeah. Seven. So I, I, mean, I just get the full health. Uh, Maybe. Oh, okay. Remember, healing potions don't cure stamina. No. Yeah. Full health. Sorry. Oh. So I have you, zero stamina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have full health. Uh, He's HP. Running on zero. Okay. Hit points. Hit yes, points. I okay. have full Oh, hit so you points. had, you were out of stamina and you were down oh, hit points. Oh, yeah. I was on a nine hit point. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I was struggling a little bit. I felt like okay. five extra would be really good. Also, are you writing your hit points in pen? Yeah. Just for today. Okay. I print this out every week. That's what okay. it does. Yeah. Okay. I have updated now to have fortune and resolve in right. my. Uh, awesome. Yeah, we'll we'll get, we'll get fortune here once you guys hit the level two. Um. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm not very fast. And we got twenty five, right? No. Twenty. Twenty. I'm very slow. Why? Dwarves are just slow? Dwarves are slow. I'm a gnome when I'm 25. You're a sprightly, fey little creature. I got a lot, of, a lot of girth. I'm carrying around this huge war hammer and all I mean, these potions. You could get here and throw a thing. I could throw. Two, I don't have anything to really throw. You don't have any? What was that? Venom of the no, 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 I have or to make that. Oh. Yeah, don't be afraid of uh, the, alchem- the, the, the the throwing items. Um, don't be afraid of them? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, it might be make sense to, to make. It takes an action to make them, though. No, I'm saying at the beginning of the day, maybe. Maybe craft oh, a couple. Yeah. So what I did at the beginning of the day was made Elixir of Life and Juggernaut. And then right. I had that one extra which I could make something on the quick, quick right. alchemy. Right. At the cost of an action. It, it, it cost, okay, it's one action it's, or it's two? I think it's one action. Um, I have the alchemist stuff with me, but um, either way, I would have to make <laughs> the... Um, oh, okay, you don't have one. You're saying like at the ready. Yeah, okay, it is one action. Yeah. So I could, I could make a fire thing and then throw it, but I've already used one action, so I have to move... Right, so he can't do it this round, it. but yeah. So my thought was to move and juggernaut. <laughs> does that bomb have an area effect? It does. It, well, it, it's not an area effect. It's called splash. Yes. Usually it has a minor effect on all the squares that are uh, adjacent to the square that you're targeting. Okay. Sometimes it's a little bit of damage. Sometimes it's a little bit of a debuff, but it's it's called splash. I know oh, with yeah. with uh, burning hands, obviously they have a cone. Do that is that, have... that is an area of effect. And then is fireball. Fireball like, is an area of effect. But that's is that the like traditional D and D shape of like, yeah, so, so yeah, so I have, it is a um, twenty foot radius. I get that one automatically. My, uh, I can make an alchemist fire, fire which does one D eight fire damage plus one persistent fire damage and one fire splash damage. Right. Um, I think it's cool in general. Like I want to see you I'll, running I'll, into battle, throw like throwing. What is the range of a potion? I think it's usually twenty feet. Is it? It should say. It's probably in like the. So, the equipment section. Okay, so that's. Um, so anyway, I'll move. Um, By the way, that's a twenty foot, meaning you get a penalty for each. You could go farther. You can go further than twenty feet. You just start oh. to get penalties. Yeah, so I'll just go minus five, five for every ten. 10 15, I think it's 20. minus two. Oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. every range increment. 
I'll move up to here. Okay. All right. So you can see that the Goblin Commando is uh, definitely a, a, a very formidable gentleman. Uh, his r goblin dog is twitching this way and that, and it looks like they're about to go for gore. So. But I have one more action, yep. and I'm going to juggernaut mutagen myself. Um, so I gain uh, uh, five temporary hit points. What is this bonus plus one? That's for other things. Okay, what are we reading? Uh, so a ju juggernaut mutagen. Yep. The bonus is plus one. You gain five temporary hit points. Right. So remember, there's five different types of juggernaut. There's lesser, greater, minor, greater. Mm -hmm. So you have to read the base juggernaut mutagen. So what does it do by default? You gain an item bonus to fortitude saves. And then there you go. Listed. So you gain an item bonus to fortitude saves. Yours gives plus one. Okay. Eventually, yours will give, what is it? Like, look at the last one. Plus four. Yeah. Okay. So I got five HP temp and um, I get plus one, two, four to two saves. Gotcha. And I'm good, that's my turn. Okay, uh, so that was easiest. So here comes the Goblin Commando. All right, so the first thing the Goblin Commando is going to do is he is going to command his Goblin Dog. Uh, the Goblin Dog, however, has a, uh, uh, a reaction called Juke. <laughs> uh, if the rider issues a command to the dog, the Goblin Dog gets to step before the command. Step just means you get to move five feet. So it's going to move five feet over to Gore. I'll do the spin move. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the goblin dog is going to use both of its actions to bite at Gore. I'm going to use my reaction oh. shield block with my... Well, the cool thing is you don't have to do that until after I hit you. Oh, oh yeah, you yeah. have to hit first and then you can... All right, so uh, <laughs> yeah. you have a shield up. So what is your armor class, Gore? 18. Okay. So plus the goblin, the, the mad, the cantrip shield, right? Uh, that's just a plus one. Or I don't know. What what is your eight? What is your actual armor class? A, a, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Yes. So when you cast shield, your armor class goes up. Yeah. It just adds plus one, or I don't know. I I would hope I would hope Rory knows, but I'll I'll look it up. <laughs> I think it was two. Two is the kind of the default. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you know how the blocking works on that, Rory? Um, or is it, does it, like, does it function like a normal shield? The fighter had the, the shield block. That, that ability is irrelevant okay. completely, 100%. Oh, because, yes, because a wizard can shield block with a shield uh, spell. I thought oh, it was yeah. like a reaction that let them kind of. Yeah, so this is just an instance of you not knowing what the shield is. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so here's how shield works. You raise a magical shield of force. This counts as a raise of shield action. You do get a plus one bonus to your armor class. Okay. Until the start of your next turn. While this spell is in effect, you can use the shield block reaction with your magic shield. The shield has hardness five. After you shield block with it, the spell ends and you cannot cast the shield spell again for 10 minutes. Yep, that's right. Okay, so. Had I not used the reaction, I would have kept the plus one ace, I believe. Eight, I read. <laughs> I, I don't know actually what he's talking about. Yeah, oh, confused. there's a little bit of confusion on how the cantrip shield works. If just from, casting from the who? Key, uh, forms, I read. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then it was like, because I wondered if you cast it once and you couldn't use it for 10 minutes. No, 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 that, that should definitely but not be. But if you use the reaction, no, then no. you can You can cast shield every minutes. round yeah. forever for yeah. the rest of your life. Ooh. And it will it will pop, it'll pop into existence for one combat round, yeah. and then oh, which is about six seconds, and yeah. then it goes away. But if you use the but reaction, if I hit you yeah. and you decide I don't want to take nine damage, yeah. I want my shield to sort of absorb it. Yeah. The shield will take off five. Okay. And then it'll like magically shatter. Right. And then you cannot cast it again for ten minutes. If it shatters. If you use it to absorb. The yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the goblin dog is going to attack. He attacks you with his jaws. Uh, that's an at one. All right. All right. The goblin dog misses pitifully and painfully and then attacks you again. 22. React. Well, let me do the damage first. <laughs> oh, you can yeah, choose after one that. Damage. Wow. I like to do it that way because I like for people to make the best possible decision. Huh. Okay. Uh, nine damage. <laughs> I'll, I'll use my shield on. That. Okay, great. So your shield shatters. You don't take nine damage. You take four damage. Yep. In addition, as the goblin dog bites into you, you are exposed to goblin pox. Oh, shit. Oh. 
Make a DC 17 fortitude saving throw. Or else you get herpes. Basically. Do you have the a DC 17? You can do that. Oh, shit. There we go. That's a, that's a one. Well, you've now got it. Your body shit. breaks out in hives <laughs> immediately. <laughs> this is the worst case of <laughs> goblin pox I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, this goblin has got it real bad. <laughs> Like, he's so bad. Um, if you want to get a, a Facebook up, you can, Danny will call you whenever you're ready. So he's, he's waiting in the wings. Well, Thanks. at least he, that's what Thanks, he's Danny. used to. I, well, I told him. Yeah. From I told army. him uh, you will call Derek. <laughs> that I was a nap no. one, by the way. Yeah, you've had, you've had some should, some particularly you know, bad rolls. I've and actually twos. been rolling very well for myself. I should bring my <laughs> and then this camera can see them roll. What is that? I have big dice. Like oh, Derek like the large like casino oh, yeah. dice type stuff. I have D20s that are really large. You should have been rolling that bucket. Is the, yeah. uh, is the glare on the map there? Is that a concern? Uh, it's I mean, of minor. course it is, but I mean, there's a million other things that we have to worry about. Um, <laughs> sure. People uh, at home, you can deal with some glare for yeah. uh, episode three. Uh, episode three, we'll deal with... Session we'll, season two. Well, so eventually... Uh, we will stop using the overhead lights and we'll start using no, directional we'll get the, we'll lights. Look at the mood lights going. Uh, but it's just <laughs> a couple candles. A, I'm just trying to get the basic. There was a lot of uh, there was a lot of complaints after last episode about <laughs> not being able to see the uh, so many people the battle map. Was it just Bob? It was just Bob. Yeah, we don't have any viewers yet. <laughs> <laughs> it was just Bob. Um, all there right. People that uh, want to view. I'm not a hundred thousand percent sure what happens uh, when you f critically fail. A, uh, on pox. a disease uh, check. I think it, it becomes permanent. So, uh, but you are sickened. Okay. Uh, due to uh, being exposed to the goblin pox. Everyone put on your masks. Yeah. Uh, the coronavirus uh, is now in <laughs> gore. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just call it, we'll just call it Rona. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, now we're going to definitely get de demonetized. Oh, yeah, you're right. Right. Yeah. I mean. Disease I like, I like, are just when you miss the phone call when you're in a call center environment. I think so. Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thus can't be done. So I can retch, meaning I vomit the Ooh. pox out? Yeah, that's basically correct. <laughs> I didn't know it was that kind of disease. <laughs> or it affects your interior organs? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking more of a like, uh, you literally start looking like a goblin. You yeah. Have, like, freaking yeah. blisters. I, the good sores. news is you can just take an action to try to overcome it. Yeah. Yeah. Or recover so if he's our strongest warrior. Well, I'm over here just getting. Picked well, the way, apart. Disease, the way diseases typically work is that you'll get to make a save each turn or each time the disease progresses. It'll either get cured or mm -hmm. it'll. Uh, or stage it'll one, get stage, stage two. two. Eventually, you'll get to the final stage. And the final stage usually involves some sort of permanent debilitation. Mm. Bob, I'm I'm gl I'm grateful for you absorbing hits because every time that you take hits and I don't, the right. more damage I can do. Yeah. So now you don't have a shield. You can do anything. It just shatter. <laughs> sure. So your AC is 18. Yep. The Goblin Commando is now going to attack you. Okay. He used his first action to command his dog. He's going to use his second action to command his horse chopper mm, into horse your chopper. face. Followers of the wow. horse chopper. All right. So the Goblin Commando whirls his massive, crude. Butcher, pole arm like thing. Same thing on a longer stick. Uh, and <laughs> that's a glaive for them. Right? Yeah, that's a glaive for them. Uh, <laughs> oh, he has reach with this. I didn't know that. My bad. Uh, he's gonna whop, wallop, wallop you with it. Ten. I got an eighteen. Ooh, I'm eighteen. So that's yeah. gonna be a hit. D eight plus three slashing damage. You take nine slashing damage. Holy you shit. always hit six on that. Thing. <laughs> Minus three. Minus and three. he is going to take another swing at you, but this time only at plus three. Ooh. He rolls a nat one. It's Yikes. definitely a miss. All right. So Gore and the uh, Goblin Commando begin going back and forth, trading blows. The Goblin Dog leaps onto Gore, who fends off the creature's, uh, the bulk of the creature's blow with a magical for shield of force. However, the creature's burning saliva and painful, uh, irritating dander. You have an allergic reaction. <laughs> Gore begins to grow pale as the goblin pox begins to take over him like a bad infection of fleas. While he is distracted by the uh, sickened condition, the, go the goblin commando drops the horse chopper directly into Gore's face. All right, good deal. All right, number two. That guy over there. Yeah, he's gonna rush over to Azius. Why isn't this fucker helping us with his wolf pack? <laughs> uh, well, the one's dead. 
Uh, he's a coward, and the other one is just the dog is just sitting there barking he's and growling. He's doing stuff. I mean, his, he was his def- goal is to defend He was holding them, dude. holding four things off for a while. And it the, was the, a very brief moment. To I be think. fair, the way it really went down was these three goblins kind of came in here, and the two dogs were sort of barking at them, and there was a stalemate for several intense moments, and then the commando showed oh, up and just slew the, the dog. Right. Yeah. All right. The uh, goblin warrior is going to come scuttle over to you, and as he does so, he is going to open you up with a dog. Slice. Of oh. course, for sure. Twenty. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's a hit. Indeed it is. Low numbers, please. Six. Six total damage? Yeah. All right, so All my right. temporary hit points are out, and I'm down to 13. All right, the dog slicer is agile, which means he only gets a minus four penalty to his second tech, so he's going to take it at plus four. Ooh, that's what I 21. Do. Hit. Told you Pathfinder 2 is brutal. It's not Pathfinder 2. Two damage. <laughs> you always hit me. Like All right, that's the end of the awesome. first round. All right, Gore. Uh, I feel like vomiting right now. <laughs> <laughs> right, so if you From see... those blood lights or... Yeah. <laughs> so if you take a look there it's at this... It's if mango. You, yeah. If you take a look at your second condition, you'll see that you can uh, spend, spend an action. That's one to, action. To uh, to try to wreck. The good news is you're already in melee with the bad guy, so like you don't have to move. I can blind him with vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Could you vomit on him? <laughs> no, that only encur- that only encur- that, o- that, o- that only encourages him. He, he's, I mean, all goblins I think already have goblin dogs. Yeah. That's actually, right. actually, um, yeah. so goblins and goblin dogs are immune to goblin. Yeah. Dogs. Oh, so, he basically Makes already sense. has. Who knows what else he has? He's though. riding. <laughs> uh, plus my. What am I saving? Fortitude? It, is, it is fortitude. Seven plus seven is 15. Well, a couple of things. Number one, sicken oh. gives you a penalty to all checks and DCs equal to your uh, sicken value. Yeah. So you do get a penalty to this. 14 instead of 15? Yes. Okay. And the DC is still 17. Oh, so. sure. <laughs> oh, oh, it is all 17. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm immune to Iocane powder. I'm immune to Now you could spend your whole round vomiting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do another vomit. <laughs> Does it get minus at all or no? He still gets the minus one penalty. Oh, but it's not, it doesn't accumulate. No, no, yeah, no, 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 okay. no. It's not like an attack. Well, there, there we go. go. What'd you get? 18 plus okay. 7 is 25. Okay. Minus okay. One. So go ahead and minus cure it. Five. So you cure yourself of uh, of goblin uh, pox there. That was short-lived. Just needed a shot. Quick six seconds. <laughs> of, uh, yeah. I mean, it's called retching, but you could think of it as like sneezing or, you know, getting like the, the stuff off of you or whatever. But you have one action left, Gore. I'm going to strike down with my great sword on the rat dog that stands I'm specifically the, the, the dog. dog or okay. The, the goblin leader. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. There we go. Plus nine. Twenty six. are hot dice. You said plus nine, like that's a that's like, <laughs> like that's a number. Plus nine. Plus. Nine. <laughs> plus twenty. I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like Bob. Plus five. <laughs> it still will hit me for sure. All right, what'd you get there, buddy? Twenty six. Critical hit. Ooh. Oh, a critical hit. Shit, double damage. Double damage. So, just roll your damage. Add four. Double it. Take this dog out. Twenty two. Jeez, a wee. Yeah. Okay. So really dead. All right. <laughs> so now it's a goblin. Do you have a? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll replace it with a goblin. You just want to use this guy? Uh, sure. I mean, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be sweet. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry. It's a bit more ferocious. At home. Yeah, his ferocity is a bit. What are these guys? Here we go. Here we go. Our right. old people. It was old you and old 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 Murray. All right. Um, however, the Goblin Commando oh, yeah. is better. actually on the ground right now because the dog got sliced out from underneath him. So he's currently on the ground. He's prone. He is prone. All right. Ooh. Yes. Okay. So Gore kills the Goblin Dog from right underneath him. Uh, Gore, that was with a weapon, right? That was the great sword. Yeah. Right. Okay. If you would, if you had done it with like a monk. Fist or whatever, you, you get exposed to goblin pox. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, again. For sure. All right, Burl. Are you more immune or less immune after you rush? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Burl, <laughs> Burl runs forward. Okay. Yep. Teetering past the uh, the corner there. Yep. Spying the uh, the goblin chief on the ground. Decides to hit him with the old burning hands. Oh wait, uh, whoa. that's not going to be good. It's going to hit other people. Well. Yeah, that's going to hit other. Don't people. Don't hit me. Um, uh, a couple things, Matt. He is prone, which means he is flat-footed with a minus two circumstance penalty to his attack roll. Being flat-footed means he has a minus two circumstance penalty to his attack roll, so. How much HP do you have, uh, Gore? He is, uh, but, uh, yes, so he is at minus yeah. two penalty to his AC. Uh, you don't want to hit AC. Gore. All right, I'm going to uh, just do the hydraulic push. Okay. Um, so this is uh, going spell to attack. Be, yep. Okay, you're trying to hit the Goblin Commando's AC, which is 17, but it's d- adjusted down to 15 because he is prone. All right. 
Uh, 13. All right. The blast of water sails past him and misses. All right. Uh, oh, no, I missed. <laughs> bug issues. Uh, just a fruit fly. That's a high AC for that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> He's level one? Remember, they're, yeah. supposed to be, they're supposed to be a little bit stronger than us. That's true. A little bit. I guess we all have about the same AC, but I get hit like it's every roll. I have no idea. <laughs> this. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can keep it up. How many sessions I could go without getting hit? Okay, easy. Perfect game. Oh, so, okay. So now that I am. Save me! Save you! Um, I will. Oof. I gotta figure out the voice for Burl. Yeah, I was thinking that I'd do the Scottish yeah. accent for my guy, but yeah. I don't know if I should. Um, I'm gonna bring down my uh, Destiny Warhammer oh. on uh, Goblin number two. Okay. Goblin number two, plus five, 22. That's a hit. Uh, that's a hit. And we are going to use the D8 plus two. Dead. Total of 90. Oh, yes. <laughs> Finally. As he, as he dies, you say, who does number I'd two never work kill for? anybody. <laughs> All right. You bring your Warhammer up and and hours of rage, <laughs> yeah. of rage and pain and humiliation <laughs> go into the blow as you smash the goblin's head into a thousand pieces. His head explodes like a watermelon. Just right. like. No, it leaves the imprint of the skull like mm. in his body. Right. I love Des- the hammer. It's Destiny. not a blade. It's just a big ass. Yeah, I always like the warhammers over great axes. You know who also used warhammers? Uh, who? King Robert Baratheon. Ah, and how'd that turn out for old Bobby B? Well, he killed Prince Rhaegar at the Battle of the Trident. He did. I think that there the was. Throne. I think there was some suspicious shit that happened there. Might may or may not have been. What's that? It may or may or not have been. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think there was some some hocus pocus going on. There's like, a new show coming out. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it, that takes it's, place. It's uh, Dance of the Dragons. Is it called Dance? Or is no, it I mean, House it, of that's, Dragons? That's, well, I mean, I, I know it takes place during the era of what is called the Dance yeah. of the Dragons. Which so that's is, the Aegon? They were saying they were going to like 10 no. seasons of that shit. I can't believe they would. Uh, I don't know so 300 material. years before Game of Thrones started, you had Aegon's Conquest, yeah. where he came over with his two sister wives and they mm-hmm. conquered the Seven Kingdoms so. and made the Iron Throne. And then you had uh, 20 years before the start of the show, you had uh, Robert's King. Rebellion, where he overthrew the Mad King, King yeah. Aegon. Uh, about 100 years in between those two, there was a Targaryen civil war yeah. called the Dance of the Dragons. So they were trying, they, they, they were thinking maybe doing two or three episodes of pre bulk of the civil war and then like one or two episodes like be before Robert's you know, rebellion type thing. I think Robert's rebellion would be really cool to see. Yeah. Get back to me already? Uh, oh, I actually killed a goblin. Yeah, he right? killed, no. killed a goblin. Uh, hey. No, it's actually the uh, it's actually <laughs> the goblin commando. Hey. So You're back on your road to What's All right, so- from, uh, Anchorman? <laughs> Brent? No. Brent, Brent killed no. a guy. <laughs> uh, so the Goblin Commando is going to use one action to stand. Okay. So he stands up from prone. Mm-hmm. Then he's going to use another action to horse chopper gore. <laughs> my dog, you long shanks. You don't even like dogs. Yeah, but I like my dog. <laughs> uh, 20 million. Of course. <laughs> Always. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, wait, wait. I'm sorry, I got it wrong. Plus eight. Plus, plus eight. Oh. <laughs> and what was your dice roll? Uh, 15 plus 8. Wow. So 23. Jeez. 9 damage. It's ridiculous. All day. <laughs> How's your health looking? The DM's dice, or sorry, GM. The GM's dice are loaded. I'd like to point out that D8 plus 3, the average of it is 7.5. So eight, 7 or 8 damage is the average. So 9 damage isn't actually that. Uh, I guess you're right. It's not actually Just that much. Just like you rolled, at least on me. I mean, I could have rolled an 8. To roll the hate. Anyways, uh, the goblin has one more attack left. However, it's Ooh, unlikely to hit. I got one health. Well, oh my god! He swings again. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking course. Uh, he gets a minus five, All right. so he has a plus three, so he eighteen. And I mean, that was a good roll. Yeah. 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 Oh, Jesus. Uh, this that Eleven way. damage. You got that. Uh, you got that right. potion of. Do I actually uh, count the negative? Yeah. You do not. Okay. All right, so you have been knocked out. So you've been reduced to zero hit points. Okay. A couple of things happen. Number one, your initiative moves directly before the creature or effect that reduced you to zero hit points. Okay. Second, you what gain. If what if you were behind him? You go right there. Okay. Second, you become dying one. Oh. Now you don't have any wounded status, so otherwise you would become dying two or dying three or dying four. Okay. Uh, remember or note that you ever reach dying four, you die. So gaunt, you, like gone, no coming back. You're dead. Dig the grave. Yeah, so you're dying one. Stakes are high. 
go through his pockets uh, for change. If you ever have one hit point or more, you lose the dying condition. And anytime you lose the dying condition, this is where it's different from fifth edition. Uh, this is where this is where this is where Pathfinder Second Edition is different from fifth edition. Uh, <laughs> if you lose the dying condition by getting restored back positive hit points, you gain the wounded condition. And the wounded condition means that the next time you go unconscious, you become dying too. Okay. And for how then, long do you, how long does that? The wounded that's... condition lasts uh, for either until you have been medically treated or until you are completely healed to full. A couple weeks game time. Well, I mean, if we I can mean, rest. If it's and... mad, I mean, if you're and chugging go. Bob's potions, it could be a couple yeah, rounds. I only, have, I only have one more elixir of life. Alternatively, <laughs> uh, well someone over. like a field medic we might need to rest yeah. after. could spend 10 really minutes bandaging your wounds, putting, you know, tourniquets and gauzes and uh, setting a splint. And then that, if you get treated by a medic, that also eliminates the wounded condition, even if it doesn't restore you to full. Okay. And since he has the uh, aid, or what what is it called? Field medic. So he could probably... Can I do it to myself? Yeah. Yes, you can do it to yourself. Okay. The only only thing that it takes is time. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's not a... yeah, Yeah. Okay. Rest it's not something that you're going to do like in the middle of a fight. But. Can he get hurt any more while being dying? Absolutely. So just because it's the first time that it's happened, we'll talk about it. Okay. <laughs> um, anytime you, uh, so at the start of his turn, when he's dying, he's going to make a flat check. That means no modifiers. You're just rolling a D20. And the DC is 10 plus whatever his dying value is. So his dying value is one. So it's 11. Just in case. So for the folks at home, that means... 11 to 20 and 10, 1 through 10. So that's a 50 50. And for me. Yeah. <laughs> if you succeed at that check, your dying value is reduced by one. Okay. If you fail at that check, your dying value increases by one. Okay. If you crit succeed at that check, your dying value goes down by two. Okay. If you crit fail, it goes down by two. Um, however, anytime uh, while you have the dying condition, if you take damage, your dying condition, any t- even if it's one hit point of damage, your dying condition goes up by one. So what if it's a 20 points of damage? It just goes up one? It goes up by okay. one. However, if it's a crit, it goes up by two. Okay. Well, I was thinking about throwing a fire a fire thing at this guy. I'm like, I don't want to fucking hurt Gore <laughs> I mean, it I would. I mean, but, okay. He's already dying. So he went, so we're back to Burl. So you see Gore take another horse chopper. <laughs> this time, however, no stamina remains. It's just hit points. Yeah. Gore takes a nasty wound across his midsection and torso, and Gore drops to the ground. Ah. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, the pox, give me the pox. <laughs> yeah, the pox, was too, the pox was too much for him. All right. Burl, what do you uh, think? Burl reacts quickly and uh, just yells out, freeze, freeze, and tries to hit him with the ray of frost. Oh, my ah, God. <laughs> the ray of frost goes wide as Burl sees his good friend go down and uh, under a, the, the vicious goblin commando's horse chopper. Uh, like a whirling wolverine, the small creature is rah, swinging his massive horse chopper around. I'll kill you all, Longshanks! Time for you to die! Longshanks? I'm not that tough. I'm three foot three. Yeah, I'm not much <laughs> uh, my other action, I'm going to command Lucky. I have a uh, massive inferiority uh, complex! Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> Uh, Lucky will then uh, hit him with the claws. All right, the uh, the dog decides to get bold, so the other dog comes up and uh, and Ten? flanks with the badger. Oh, it's oh over that, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That put him yeah. flat-footed. Then? Yes, exactly. So his AC drops down to fifteen. So ten. Oh, god, that's a miss. Yeah, Jesus. All right, this Burl. Is bad, this is the bad. This is bad. He needs to go to <laughs> dice jail. He needs to dice jail. Uh, <laughs> leave a comment below. Do you, if you're familiar with wormwood and you're familiar with the dice jail concept, leave a comment below if you think that dice jails are great. <laughs> Or I really would love to know how stupid you think they are. <laughs> I think all, one nice jail per group is awesome. <laughs> Bro, right, do you, do you have any turn. other actions? No, no okay. uh, I spell and then uh, command uh, lucky. Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay Azius. Uh, and what would it be if I was to try to convince this uh, nobleman to join the fight? Is that uh, a charisma check? It would definitely be a persuasion check, I think, is the correct skill. Pers- Does I don't he? Think that's D&D. He's uh, a nobleman. I'm sorry, though. diplomacy. I don't know if he'll, he'll necessarily mm. have any skills. Yeah, I was like, man, yell this guy. Yes, uh, diplomacy. Go, there we go. I don't know if he's. Uh, if this he's... would be the request action, mm. uh, which is a single action. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Also, he doesn't look like he is at all capable of oh, fighting at all. I don't care if he's just one extra body to take away from this guy. <laughs> I'd say just... He's got to be able to hit. We I'm, should I'm, be able I'm to... move up and try to hit He's going to give us some money, though. I mean, unless it's... Yeah, he... Well, yeah, we need to keep him alive, too, for some cash here. But, uh, oh, that's right. If you come in, hopefully it'll take the attention away from Gore. But I... Yeah. I mean, yeah, um, what, are you, what are your hit points 10, looking 15. at? I mean, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm okay, but... Um, Have we hit the goblin yet? No. Uh, that is negative. Well, Vegas over here is rolling nines every time, so... <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Um, and although you... Uh, and, you know, you guys have been fighting goblins for a while, so you guys, uh, you're aware of the goblin commando, and you're aware that he has 18 hit points. Okay. Is he flanked? No. All Gore, four no, of us are no. in a circle around Gore, this motherfucker. Gore, Gore might as well not even be there, though. Yeah. So who's he, he facing? Gore is unconscious. But is he facing the, the Fine. Well, he's like, the he's badger? mid, he's mid uh, well, death. There is no yeah. facing in Pathfinder. So even though there's three of us surrounding this thing, he's not flanked? He is he's by the dog, him. and he is by the badger, but not by you. Because the guy opposite to you is dead. Well, that was my point. He, he, he slashed him down. Yeah. So... He then turned towards the badger because the badger attacked him. Correct. There's okay. no facing in Dungeons and Dragons. Well, well you could you could think. Then how do you flank? No, what <laughs> I mean to say is <laughs> no. What I mean to say is, it you essentially can turn your model at any time at any time place. To determine if you're flanked, it's not orthogonal. You have to be opposite side. Currently, yeah, he's always is, flanked, right? Yeah, but my point is, if he's no. facing, you, if you can always turn, so then you can always him, turn towards the flanked. fighter. Correct. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And, but but now you've turned here. Now you've got your back to this guy. So yeah, now you're flanked. I thought just having you anybody turn, engaged with you. attacking, you can always turn towards that guy. That's true, but you're then getting you're distracted flanked. by the guy behind you poking you with the sword yeah. as you're facing the so other person. you're saying that if this guy's facing me, he's not distracted by the two things fighting him? That makes sense to me. <laughs> I agree, but that's not he the... He agrees. Pathfinder totally yeah. disagrees. I mean, like... <laughs> well, Pathfinder, <laughs> Pathfinder <laughs> and Dungeons and Dragons. Because you're right. Like, if, if we it were just a, an l sure. you know, you'd be as distracted as if it were on the opposite That was my point. So anyway, I'm going to roll to hit with Destiny at my first action. Sure. Get a good hit here. Uh, we are uh, failing on that roll. <laughs> Bob. Fail on that roll. I haven't hit anyone yet. I've, I, I've I, missed twice with my spells and then my bad. I'm rolls. rolling great. Yeah, yeah, you're you're rolling really good. You um, did kill a guy. Is it Brick? Brick killed a guy? Brick, Brick killed a guy? <laughs> I saw that. Killed a man with a trident. And this okay, is called so, this is called going into the tank. Uh, yeah, so let's see what <laughs> where, where suddenly the situation looks real grim. I just want to see what you I start flipping through your character sheet like, ah, yeah. shit, what do I got? Well, I, I, obviously, I don't want to attack him again with my destiny. Barely hit him as it was. True. He's got an 18. Well, you AC. had Juggernaut, didn't you? I, that doesn't that help gives him. That him hit points. It, so. it, it add, plus one to fortitude. Yeah. It's defensive. And my, yeah. and my temporary HP is already gone. Um, it's almost like right now I need to, like, take cover. Just to protect myself. I mean, you could. Do you dead. have a shield, or you could you could choose to ready the shield? So I moved up as action. You moved one, up action and one. I attacked him. Action yep. two. So you have one shield. Action one left. One thing to do. Huh. Do you shield. have a shield? Is what you're saying? No. Oh, okay. well, you can't do that. I have lots of things to drink. <laughs> um. Can he accurately throw a health potion no. into my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Um, at least not at first level. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so I will. Um, you could drop prone. I just, I'm just wondering what. Um, so I'm only down uh, three HP. I have zero stamina, three HP. Can you use a. Uh, I can use a health potion on myself. Or the. Uh, I can ready. So I can make something during my turn. I could like make a fire potion or fire thing. I imagine he's probably going to attack you next, right? Yeah, he's going to kill me. So maybe <laughs> take a potion. Yeah, but even if I take a potion, I'm only going up three HP. That doesn't yeah, seem like a lot. Well, remember, healing potions can only heal your hit points. Yes. Yeah. Your stamina can't be yeah, healed by healing. Do. You could also, um, you, can like you can, half, half, you can right? take a second wind or yeah, steal I totally yourself. Forgot about resolve. And you can spend a resolve and get back half stuff. your stamina. <laughs> In combat, it's half your stamina. So that's that'd be that's an action. And we can round, we're rounding down. Rounding down. So it's three anyway. But um, it's yeah, I mean it's not easy. Yeah, I, and does taking cover require movement? Or no, taking just... cover requires something that you can logically take cover behind. But I should be next to it. You need to be in the vicinity of it, yeah. There's okay, nothing there's here not for really you. You could dive into that sewer cover. <laughs> I, I, would, I, would, I would think it would take an action to remove the cover. That's correct. <laughs> in this battle map. <laughs> Unless you were uh, the ancestry um, of... All right, quick, Azius. Yeah, so I'm going to take a resolve thing and then just get some of my stamina back. Okay. So I'll take three stamina back. I am at three All right, stamina. Gore, give me a flat check. Roll right. d20. 
What'd you get? Twelve. All right, yeah. Gore. Yeah. You have made your recovery yeah. check. What? Now, uh, the good news is, uh, you uh, you're still at zero hit points. Okay. Uh, you are still unconscious, but uh, you lose the dying condition. Okay. Uh, and you gain wounded one. So resolve, resolve, no, because you're still at zero hit points. Mm -hmm. So you'd have resolve hit points. Still at zero. Right. You could have all. You could have all your your stamina. If your hit points are at zero, you are unconscious. Mm. So do you have a way to give yourself hit points? Well, no. He has he's no actions. So he's unconscious. Oh yeah. He's just not dying. He's just yeah. not dying. <laughs> he just stopped bleeding out. All right. The goblin commando, as expected, is going to go for eight. Hundred percent dead. <laughs> how much think? How much going to do it? How much going to deal in one turn? It's a D8, right? D8 plus uh, three. Nine, nine damage is the most you can deal. 16. That's a tie, so that's a hit. <laughs> oh, uh, Eight. 10 damage. Oh, oh my ten. God. I said nine damage. <laughs> yeah, I lied. Yeah, I'm at one. Hey, you're not dead. He attacks you again. Yeah, dead for sure. Oh! A four? All right, all right. That's a, that's a seven. <laughs> Woo! All right. He's like, uh, I couldn't. I was going to sing that second time, but he was like on one knee, like humbled over, and I missed over his little short head. All right. And then the Goblin Commando is going to try to intimidate Burl. What? Yeah. Right. How dare you? How, yeah. <laughs> you intimidate this Goblin? We've been fighting him for a while. Uh, he's going to turn to you, and he goes, it's called Demoralize. He goes, you're next. I mean, he is even <laughs> shut up. He is. Uh, so, what is, so this is called your will DC. So basically, you just add 10 to your will. It's a 16. So I need to be a 16 with my plus 5. I do not. Ooh. Basically, he recognizes that you're the only threat, and if he can try to put some frightened conditions on you, it's going to reduce your uh, your attack both. All right. Well, it, it, it's not like he needs the help. I've I, been missing all today. All right. All right, sir. Sir, sir, sir miss a lot. All sir, right. Miss a lot. It's three against um, one. We can't even hit this fucker. <laughs> uh, uh, you right. know what? Wait, wait. You know what? Here, end of the round. We'll say. All right. Uh, the dog attacks. Oh, sweet. Oh, the, 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 this guy. Wolf pack. Yeah. Here we go. Blanking. Uh, Twelve miss. Hit. Okay. Four damage. That is down uh, to fourteen. Down to fourteen. This, one hit, <laughs> uh, this goblin is not us. <laughs> but All right, animals. Burl. So uh, uh, Come Burl on, is going to um, the uh, oh the the uh, the man kind of pokes his head out from behind the rain barrel. Hey, you're doing so well. Yeah. Give him hell, heroes. <laughs> Give him hell! I'm about the same situation as you, buddy. <laughs> he looks over. He goes, "Oh God, no!" He yeah. sees Gore like <laughs> bleeding out on the street. <laughs> Atheus is about to die. <laughs> Burl yells out, uh, "Lucky, uh, sick balls!" And so Lucky's <laughs> going to attack with the uh, the claws. Eight, right. Hey, that's got to be a eighteen. Hit. Yeah, there hit. we go. All right, D six plus two. Yes. Nope. Yes. Seven. All right, down nice. to seven. Nice. Right, then, Come on. Uh, now, now that you're distracted, I'm gonna hit him with the ray of frost. Uh, remember, Lucky probably has two attacks. Oh, uh, he does have. Well, can he? Oh, minus five. Yep. It's a, that's it's agile. agile. Minus four. So minus four. All right. So his second attack plus. Yep. Uh, this is not taken to so, his actions. No, no okay. I, I spend when, one action. When to he spends two. one action to command his it, animal, it, it, it gets gained two. And so I have a plus four, but now I have a minus four, so it's just zero. But his AC's down. Yeah. Okay, but it's thirteen. Okay. okay. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, now that, now that you're distracted, uh, he'll, he'll hit him with the Ray of Frost. Yep. So plus seven. Yes! yes. 25. Hit. Come on, big money, big uh, money. Four plus four. Four. Seven. That's Good. enough. That's All it. Right. Yes! All right. Uh, <laughs> the Goblin Commando is going ham, <laughs> slicing down gore, chopping yes, into, uh, into Aesius, intimidating down Burl, and then suddenly, try, try. suddenly, the dog and the badger just grab him by the opposite <laughs> yeah. legs and start shaking it back and forth like a damn chew toy. <laughs> and then part. Burl walks up and boom, just shoots him in the chest with a ray of frost. And like that, yeah, the bitch. goblin uh, commando goes down. <laughs> All right. Now, would you like to call right. Billick into the fray? Oh, God. What's well, his name? We have an hour ish. Yeah. I have more time. What's his name? I have as much time as we need. But Billick. We don't know his name. We don't know his name. We don't. Would you like to call Danny through Facebook Messenger? He is ready for you to call him. I actually didn't know his well, name. No, no. Okay. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> the Goblin Commando is slain. Just say there's one dog dead. 
Oh, perfect timing. One dog is dead. Uh, why don't you go ahead and, and uh, uh, move Aldern there into the middle. Oh, he's going to come and talk to us? Yes. Wait, I don't know his there. name there. Uh, I know, Derek. I know. Who are you, mysterious man? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe he can uh, revive me or something. Yeah, oh, wait. Before yeah, we talk we to you, our friend is, is unconscious. Still, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm barely alive, and uh, Gore is literally still unconscious right at this moment. Do you have one of those? Uh, <clears throat> you have this, one of those? This game is pretty deadly. Almost, <laughs> almost the entire party almost died. Yes. Just in a little goblin fight. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> the young, well-dressed noble finally uh, emerges from behind the rain barrel as the goblin commando crashes to the ground as you look over at your uh, unconscious but not dying companion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like the bleeding has stopped. <laughs> I have no medical knowledge. Yeah, he does, so it, can I give him a health potion? Can he take it if he's unconscious? Yes. Yeah, you could. When you, you're not in a combat, you can like so force feed it. If yeah. I give it to him, could he medical field us with his... First aid kit? Well, yes. he doesn't need to medical field, medical field you. I am at one HP. Well, I'm like literally. In yeah. So the answer is yes. Okay, so I will use my last elixir of life. Okay. And to give you, uh, Gore, mm -hmm. one D6 hit points. Okay. Uh, Plus. Is that what my health will be after this? Basically. Okay. It's just one eight. It's one D6. Okay. All Give right. her a roll. No, no, no. That's uh, going to be you, Gore. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. So Azius moves over and takes out an elixir of life. Gore. Excuse me. That's All right. not bad. Your forehead. All right. All right. Now I would I would hope my friendship right. uh, to you, Gore, <laughs> has lent your skills so, to the back. So as Gore comes to, the man, uh, the nobleman comes over. Well done, heroes. Uh, <laughs> I must say, uh, Gore, uh, uh, Gore, is it? That's correct. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I've never seen such proficiency and such skill with the blade. I Did thought you, before or after he died. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd seen those goblin commandos uh, take on uh, three m men your size and win. <coughs> I must say that was very, very, uh, you know, there's like a shriek in the distance, like far off, maybe like a goblin or something. And he kind of like, ha, um, uh, very brave of you. Uh, listen, uh, things are still pretty dangerous here. My name is Aldern, uh, Aldern Foxglove, uh, uh, of the Foxgloves. Um, yeah. I'm staying at the Rusty Dragon for the next few days. Please, I, I beg of you, uh, once everything's calmed down, please uh, come and see me. We'll talk more about this, and, and, and I'll make sure that you're handsomely rewarded for your... He, like, nervously looks around again. For your courage! Come, come! And he runs away with his dog. With his dog. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Alderman. Ald Aldern. 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 Hey, Alder. Dog Slicer. Thank you. Yeah. Dog Slicer. <laughs> All right. That should be the hashtag for this, uh, like, T-shirts, like, for my other thing. Dog it it dog seems, slicer. however, uh, as you guys move back out into the city proper. Wait, can we heal first or no? I mean, it depends. It takes 20 minutes. I mean, yes. geez Louise. I'm sorry, uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, no, we need to We're going to heal, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know <laughs> the city's burning, but I can barely walk. Okay, in that case, you're going to take 10 minutes. Yeah. So what he's going to do is he's going to use his treat wound skill. Okay. So you, uh, this is uh, what's called an exploration action. There's two types of actions in Path. Well, there's three types of actions in Pathfinder. There's combat actions, which are usually measured as one, two, or three actions. There are exploration actions, which take typically ten minutes per action. This is the type of action you'll do between combat when you're out exploring and moving around. The third type of action is downtime actions. That's the sort of thing that you're going to do between adventures or when you have weeks or days or even months off that might involve you uh, creating a new magical item or researching some, you know, ancient secret. It's more of a long-term project thing. What time of uh, what what type of action is required to refill your uh, spell slots? Uh, sure. No action. Right. So how how does that? So what the wor way that works is you get all of your spell slots back after an eight-hour rest. So you can, use a, you can use a medicine to treat a living creature's wounds. Right. So page four eighty, or if you want to find out what you medicine, can do. Uh, one of the things that medicine can do, if you are trained in it, is you can do what's called treat wounds. If you have healer's tools, you can spend ten minutes treating one injured living creature, including yourself, if you choose. Once you've treated a creature with treat wounds, it is immune to treat wounds for one hour. Mm. Meaning you cannot, you can only use it on a creature once per hour. And what does it do? All right. The DC is 15. 
And if you are successful, uh, the creature restores 2d8 hit points. Wow. What, do you, what, 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 what skill is it? Medicine. And you have to be trained. Are you trained? Medicine I have. You are trained. Foreign. It's going to be rough. A 50-50 shot to get this health back. 2d8 too? Then nice. Yep. You can use it, Rory. Come on. No. 10. He, su- he fails. He <clears throat> succeeds. Now, at this point, Bob, you are immune to, uh, to treat wounds. Can I do another 10 on myself? You can. So okay. while he's doing that, I can use one of my resolves. Yes. To get res- back all of your stamina. To get back all my stamina. I knew I, knew I should have made a cleric. <laughs> well, if we had a monk, maybe. <laughs> do you have a D8? I do. Right Who's a monk? It's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it's All right. I got six. Of course, he heals himself okay. just fine. <laughs> All right, so two things happen, Rory. Yes. One, you get back seven hit points, not stamina. Okay. You get back seven hit points. Uh, the second thing is you get back, you cure your wounded condition. Oh, cool. I mean, the other thing I could do is, is literally use my quick alchemy to... You could use your quick alchemy to make an elixir, correct. Well, I mean, another thing we'll have to consider is <sighs> if we want to press on now, which maybe we should. Maybe, well, something's going to happen. We have to obviously get out of this area. But, I mean, I am just struggling. Well, the good news HP. is 20 minutes pass. Yeah, 20 and, minutes is gone. And as you guys kind of sit here and hole up for a minute, catching your breath and bandaging your wounds over the next 20 minutes, it does sound like the se- the, the sounds of battle have died off. Yeah, so every, every human in town's dead. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, in fact, as you guys are kind of uh, sitting there finishing up, Gore's finishing bandaging his wounds, you see a contingent of um, town's guards kind of come oh. down the thing is they're so, like you kind of hear shouts like we got them on the run you know um so we mostly got it under control it does, um what's pretty good what's what's Dave's character's name uh villick villick yeah he usually calls himself lord yeah. villick but obviously he's a monk this, uh, this time you hear some, you hear, you hear some of the town guards say villick's done it again oh v-i-l-i-c <laughs> v-i-l-i-k Ooh. um anyways and the, the town's guards seem to be moving north so they're they're over here. Yeah, and they're coming out. Okay, they're coming so north. Are we removing our? Sure. From this you don't. Mat? I mean, you don't need the battle mat, right? Well, yes. You've told us to. I'm saying yes. I'm saying you can take yourself off the battle mat, and then I will remove it. Do you want the map itself? Yeah, we don't need it. Okay. Here. here. It seems no. like Sandpoint's overall battle against the goblins has been decided, and in its favor, surviving goblins flee north from the city in droves. In some cases, it seems, preferring to leap to their deaths off of the cliff at Junkers Bay <laughs> rather than face capture. Jeez. Very few of the little menaces are caught alive and prove equally useless when interrogated. However, as you uh, emerge uh, with the rest of the town's guard, you see that the northern gate, uh, uh, where the goblins' uh, attack was actually at its most brutal, uh, has apparently been defended by a not insignificant number of the town's few guards, along with Sandpoint's own local legend and hero, uh, the, uh, the, <laughs> the so-called Lord Villick. Oh. <laughs> um, you see, and we don't know. We don't. None of us. Do we? I like the sound of that. None of you know them. Not one, but two goblin commandos lie dead, along with their goblin dogs, with this. Seeming goblin himself wearing surprisingly human style clothing. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is that? As you guys kind of come in, you, you see this like badass goblin warrior, yeah. and you're like, oh shit, we gotta fight. Yeah, yeah, and like yeah. the town's guardsmen are like, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. That's he's one of ours. That's oh. that's Lord Villick. Well, strange. Well, strange. You, are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> the town one of the town's guardsmen goes, Yes, yes, he might be a goblin, but. He's been raised amongst us humans for as far as long as anyone can remember. This little tyke is a, as mean as they come. He's not at all like a goblin. He's not a crude, crass mercenary <laughs> person like the rest of you. The exact well, opposite I, of every uh, goblin stereotype. Right. Well, that explains that. Uh, no, he's, he's disciplined. He's trained in the mystical arts of the monk. <laughs> Well, that heard of something like that this. explains the clothes and the lack of smell. Right. <laughs> yes, he's fond of he's fond of bathing. <laughs> Do you have the pox? Yeah. Yeah, and and he, and he has no pox. Oh, that's all right. I hate soap. Uh-huh. No, 
according to from what I know, he was uh, orphaned as a young lad again when a goblin uh, a tribe was slaughtered. Apparently, some human master couldn't bring himself to slaughter the goblin tyke and instead took him and trained with him for the uh, as if he was one of his own. And ever since then, he's been Sandpoint's, well, like our local bodyguard. Who are you again? Uh, my name is Phil. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm from the future. Thanks for the explanation. Yeah, it's very... Uh, yeah, I'm just a random NPC spotting uh, exposition. Um, I hear you. Any case. Um, like, can we talk to Mr. Villick himself? Yeah, I mean, if Mr. Villick will have you. Uh, actually, though, as you guys are coming in, uh, several other uh, uh, Lord Xantis, uh, sorry, Father oh, Xantis, Father. comes over and he goes, Oh, there they are. The heroes of Sandpoint. Uh, the sheriff also is coming in there. As to a, us? Yeah. In the, oh, because I'm like struggling here. Yeah, so Father Santos goes, Me? The, sheriff, <laughs> sheriff these, these are the men. Sheriff Hemlock yeah. comes over and he goes, I knew you guys had it in you. Mm. The father here tells me that you guys were at the town square during the attack, that you saved Farm dozens center. of townsfolk with oh, your, yeah. along with slaughtering several goblin pyros. Mm. The world's Fuck a better the dog place. Slicer. <laughs> the dog slicer. <laughs> Hell, those goblins are mean and vicious, and the commandos are no joke. Capable fighters in their own right. Luckily, our losses were minimal. Mm. They, no thanks uh, to the efforts of these vile creatures, but with plenty of thanks to you, our local legend, Mr. Villick. How are you, sir? The sheriff moves over to Danny, to your character, and uh, you stand upon a heap of your foes and uh, inquires uh, about how you're doing. I'm doing all right. <laughs> Wait, do I have to act? Do I have to talk like goblin? You don't have to go down, but you should talk I'm, like. Uh... I'm doing all right. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's not so much voice, but uh, in in character, what your character would say. Um, and it's... he's the local hero, so he's like, yeah. I'm These foes right. were evil, <laughs> trying to attack the village. <laughs> Well, it also seems that you have some good company, Villick, as these uh, three young lads themselves were also very instrumental in defending the town from the goblin attack. Young? I'm 179. Well, thank you for your help. <laughs> the sheriff kind of brings all four of you aside. <sighs> Not many goblins survived the initial attack. We managed to capture a few alive, but they won't say much. The only thing they did say, which is what concerns me, and I haven't brought it up to the attention of any of the other townsfolk. They were given orders to kill everyone and burn the place down. <gasps> when I asked who gave the orders, none of them could even remember the, cre the leader's name, but only said it was one of you Longshanks. When you say you, Longshanks is humans? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or like elves or, you know, some sort of, you know, five, six foot tall creature. You know, basically like a humanoid, like an elf or a human. But not or a dwarf or no one like ourselves. I mean, it probably wasn't a dwarf. When you yes. say you guys, it means this fucker over well, here. No, but <laughs> like that, this gore guy. But, <laughs> yes. The rest of us are Three sure. of the four party Do we know that like was small. a, a, a long <laughs> shank well, well, well. from town or just... No, so. in fact, that's what he's saying. The goblins don't even know what the guy's name was, just that it was one of you long shanks. So apparently some human mm -hmm. or humanoid uh, apparently paid or ordered or otherwise commanded the goblins to attack the town. Mm. So this has got the sheriff very concerned. Yeah, why would they attack this town? Suspicious. Is there something special about this town that we Not should be I mean, about? it's a town, but I mean, it's nothing. Well, I'm asking stupid. the yeah. I got the glass, the sheriff. you know, stuff. Why would I mean, choose this town? It doesn't I make mean, any sense. Uh, the sheriff nods, shakes his head. No, Sandpoint is as sleepy and as forgotten as a town as they come. Mm. I mean, we've always had trouble with the local goblin tribes, but not like this. They've never been so bold as to directly attack the town. He shakes his head. This poor town has been through so much. I told you about how a few years ago we lost our cathedral in a mm. great big fire. There were several unexplained murders. Things seemed to be on getting better. We were hoping that this festival was going to be the start of a, of a brand new season of peace and tranquility and maybe getting our lives back to normal. But now... Look, and you kind of look around and you see that, uh, you know, the townsfolk are not interested in continuing the celebration. Everyone seems to be kind of either like Angry. picking up damaged belongings, putting out still residual fires. Is that really night reviving too, right? the friends yeah. as best the day. hours of the night. Well, no, it's probably only like right shortly after dusk. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. The sun had just been going down. just been going down. Okay. But I mean, this is when, the, and that's when the, like, all this day is shit, sort of, shit all, shit that's, when, that's when like the big party's supposed to start, but everyone's mm. basically like just going back to their homes, you know, mm. no one's in a mood. 
for celebration. Nonetheless, I mean, I'd still go to the Rusty Dragon for a mead. Right. But... Well, sure. Well, nightcap. <laughs> yeah. Um, and as if on cue, um, sauntering up. Oh, I hope it's uh, Gore's lovely lady. Uh, Amiko. Oh. Yeah. I mean, she's pretty hot, uh, too. You, you can, you can, you can <laughs> check. Here you go, you Danny. This is Miko. Uh, Miko. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, look, take a look. Back at it. Back at it. So I definitely spelled that wrong. Mm. Amiko. Hey. Uh, Amiko. Amiko. This is who's going to I spelled it right. To us. You did spell you it right. Hey, what up, girl? What's up, girl? <laughs> Amiko Kaijitsu. Yeah. Uh, like owner Lord Bilsa, what's owner up? and proprietor of the Rusty <laughs> Dragon kind of comes over, taking a look and blows a low whistle. Yeah, you boys know how to handle yourselves, don't you? Yeah, just another day. Well, I'm, uh, pretty beat up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, of, uh, between his <laughs> be between his panic whimperings, Mister Foxglove was able to tell me that you were responsible for slaying the goblins that had made their way over to the Rusty Dragon. Yeah. I give you my most preferred and most humble thanks. The least I can do is to offer you free rooms at oh, my inn. Favorite word for the next week. As a way to say thank you. And of course, all of the ale and spice. Well, yeah! What? May <laughs> maybe not for you. Uh, uh, a reasonable amount of ale. A reasonable, uh, re uh, reasonable amount. Uh, it's like one of those like lifetime supplies, but it's Where's like, my, uh, but where it says like caps out. Caps out. <laughs> all of the food and drink that you can have. The Rusty Dragon yeah. is yours to stay at. Mm. I, I, I must say too, Alden, Mr. Uh, Lord Foxglove, was quite insistent that you come and stay. He apparently is quite taken with the three of you, seeming to say that you are the heroes of legend. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe so Gore, did, I think. But maybe. And, and he did offer us any price. So. Well, we don't tell her that, but uh, can we <laughs> talk to him? I mean, he's probably somewhere at the Iron Dragon, Rusty Dragon. And of course, Vilik, you are always welcome at my inn. You're, uh, you may be a goblin, but you have the heart of a true hero. <laughs> And I thank you again for being Sandpoint's champion. You are a thank true you. you are a true crusader. Thank you very much. All right. Well, what do you guys do? Uh, well, I'm hoping that she'll take us back to go have a, a little meet and greet with uh, Mr. Fox, Foxglove. Foxglove. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, obviously I'd have a little nightcap on the way with this reasonable amount of ale that she's allowed to give us. Does my med kit ever diminish it does not okay i didn't know if i needed to ask amiko if she had any kind of uh anti-infectants or no 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 you're fine and and although burl has yet to been uh injured he is definitely down for sleeping so that he can get his spell set. fair exactly. words don't fill my belly let's get moving to the rusty dragon all right so we'll say ah. we'll say that you part one uh and you guys save the town everybody would get a hero point Woohoo! hero points so you all have one hero point and, and Danny, hero points don't work for, like normal in Pathfinder. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> on, your, on your sheet, you're going to have a hero points tab. You can cross that out and go with a one. Okay. Essentially, I have a one. I mean, it, mechanically, it does something I different, but, but basically what a hero point lets you do is it lets you turn a miss into a hit, and it lets you turn a hit into a critical. And resolve Ooh. was strictly so, for stamina. Okay. Yes. Secondly, when you when when you, when you it's an appropriate love point in the uh, story, when you guys would regain your resolve, you get back all your resolve. So this is all, one of those points. This is one of those points. So all your resolve refills. So you guys are back to four points of resolve, mm -hmm. and all your stamina recovers. 